known as a judge on hit reality show RuPaul's Drag Race. Hello, Governor. <laughs> Max Bear. Michelle Visage <laughs> is renowned for her brutal honesty. Nothing landed, honey. You go hard or go home. And is famously hard to please. Everything was a miss. <laughs> Savage. It was roadkill. I am looking for exciting. I'm looking for fashionable. I want it all, and keep in mind, there's probably nothing I haven't seen already, so surprise me. No pressure. Where are you gonna put that on your head? Have you? Is that right? Every glitter. Oh my God, Michelle Versace is in the building. How many pairs of glasses do you have? In the, in the range of about 700. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. This is actually happening today. The pressure is on. Hey, Hannah. Hi, Michelle. How are you, love? I'm really well. Tell me about this prosthesis moment you've got going yeah. on. Yeah. So my look is inspired by Cyberdoss. Kind of dystopian futures and cyborg android vibes as well. Take care. Oh, my so God. God. Chatting to myself as well. Bernie! Hello. I want to know what is going on here, because I've been watching, and I haven't been able to pinpoint it. I wanted to try and just embody in a look someone who's in the depths of a club with lights beaming, mm -hmm. just like absolutely beaming on his face. So we're really going for the light aspect. Exactly. I am focusing on a lot of graphic stuff, so I need to be like super technical. Is that something you um, excel at? Definitely. Ophelia's coming in now with her expert line work in the netting. She's doing a fishnet kind of face. We spent a lot of time on this bald cap, Eve. Yes, I just want mine to be over the top, sparkle, glitz, glamour. I notice you're a bit of a chatter. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. I work in a salon, so oh. you're, you're always just blabbering away. <laughs> but I'm gonna say keep it moving. Yeah. Because time is ticking. So talk to me about what's going on here. So I moved to London about a year ago now, okay. and I have discovered some of the club kids scene. Okay. So I got a real masculine guy. So we're going to turn you into an angel. Looking deadly. Looking good, feeling fierce, looking gorgeous. <laughs> My concerns are Brandon, Eve, and I think we're running out of time for Anna. I'm like, no! Brandon is taking us to the Serengeti. We are in National Geographic. <laughs> I don't really like it. <laughs> Your time is up. Brushes down. I really enjoyed that creative brief. I am hopeful that the judges would like it. Michelle's here, so I wanted to do better than I would even usually. I really liked my look. I'm going to stay positive, but you just never know. I don't know if I done well. So I'm just going to wait for the verdict and their criticism. I can see your passion in it. Your line work is exquisite, and it's not an easy thing to do. This is an absolute work of art. Oh, Michelle. Your reference points are all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> the intricacies of your feather strokes. I love that attention to detail. That says a lot about you as an artist. With black and white, there is no margin for error because what happens, you get a gray zone. I did love the whispers of neon that you put through the stripes up at the top. It looks great, it looks fun, but what I'm getting is kids' face painting. I've seen this time and time again, so it's nothing new. I'm not getting 70s from this at yeah. all. Yeah. But it's hot and I would totally have sex with him in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you struggling for quite some time mm. with those prosthetics. You should have yanked them off because it looks like chewed up bubble gum on a face with some straws stuck in. Yeah. Bernie, darling, this is phenomenal. And it does look like he's been dancing all night. You gave us the sweat and you did that with glycerin, glycerin, liquid glycerin. And that to me is the icing on the cake. <laughs> well done, kiddo. Thank you. Thank you so much.